Hi, Noah Nybaron here to show you how to change your battery in your V3 tilt. Previously, we only had a video on how to change your V2 or V1 tilt. Now we have a video for your V3. The V3 has a single cap. So let's uh, start by just opening that cap. Uh, I have rubber gloves on. These are kitchen gloves. These are perfect for opening the cap. It's a very uh, small grip area, so you want to wear gloves. Another option is our uh, what we call a tilt wrench. It's a, also called a four-in-one bottle opener. You can get these anywhere, but we have a custom one available with our tilt logo on it. It really works great. It connects here with the cap and prevents the cap from getting any scratches, dents, or anything um, you might get if you tried using a wrench, which I absolutely um, do not recommend. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the gloves here. Um, open it up like this it apart I'm going to there's a there's a little um, grabber here to grab pull it out this is the electronic centerpiece here's the battery that is dead as you can see when I put this battery in you don't see any lights turn on there's no LED lighting it's dead and that's how you can tell if the battery is dead there's no LED at all that's lighting up now I'm going to take this battery and I will actually um, throw it away. Um, I'll just kind of put it over here on this corner. You want to make sure that you don't get it confused with uh, the new battery. So I have a new battery here. Um, I've just taken out of the package and I'm going to install the battery as such. You can't actually uh, install it the reverse way because uh, it'll be very difficult and it the mechanics won't let you do that. So you want to have this uh, button side down as such. I'm going to install it and you're going to see this purple LED flash. I'll just do this one more time so you can see what that looks like. And you see that purple flash. What that means is it's um, ready to calibrate in water. Um, and you have about a minute or so to, to do that. So once you do that, you want to quickly um, Put it back in the tube, get your, your cap and uh, washer assembly here, screw that back on um, fairly quickly, and let's uh, make sure it's, you know, hand tightened. And now we're going to put this in the water. And what you see here, actually, I'm, I'm actually purposely making a, um, a mistake. Um, and the mistake is that this, there's not enough water in this um, container. So you can tell because it's hitting the bottom of this container. And as you can see, the SG is very high. 1.042 is extremely high for water. And uh, that's because it's hitting the bottom. So I'm going to add so a little more water here. Okay, now it's freely floating. And now it's actually going to... Um, be able to calibrate because it's freely floating. Um, and once it's calm and stable for 30 seconds or so, this number here will turn to one and you'll see uh, a green flash coming from the tilt. So let's, let's see if it'll do that. Okay. And it just stabilized and you can see it now reads 1.000. And there you have it. You have a completely calibrated um, and new battery in your tilt. Um, a few other things you can uh, do. Um, one option while you're doing this is you can replace the, uh, the washer, the ceiling ring that goes um, on this tilt. And uh, these are available from our website as well. So if you wanna do that, it's purely optional. Uh, but we have these available. Uh, another thing to keep in mind as well, if you're using a, a smaller cup than this, um, you want to make sure that, uh, number one, that it's not hitting the bottom like we saw before. Something like this wouldn't work at all. You'd, you'd really want to make sure that it's really truly free floating um, and not, um, uh, you know, not hitting the bottom or anything. So this, this does look like it's floating. Another thing you want to consider is if you put it in upside down, 
there's no room for it to turn over. So be sure to um, put it in uh, with the cap end down like this. So just a few tips. And there you go, that's a wrap.